start getting late. Yeah. I know probably some of you now, after all this I've done, after everything I've put on here, all the, after all the verses, all the talk, y'all are still, there's only many of you that still don't believe me. Still say, nope, it's just a medical procedure. You're just a bigot and a, you're just a bigot and you're just a, one of those nut jobs that want to kill everybody because you don't like abortion. You're like that guy that killed George Tiller. You're just a nut that just, you're just part of like a terrorist group or something. You're some right-wing extremist type garbage. That's that's what that's what some of you idiots will say. There's still nothing wrong with it. Med- it's just a medical procedure, and the scientists and the doctors have already proved that there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, scientists and the doctors, the ones that make all the money off of it, and yeah, they really proved that there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna say something's wrong with it. I mean, it makes sense. Well. Here's something that more likely ain't none of you ever heard, ain't never seen, in fact, don't want to see. This is the pictures of the abortions. These are some abor- these are some pictures of what the abortion looks like after it's done, which is something people don't see much of. They simply see stuff like abortion stopped the beating hard, abortion is wrong, maybe some stuff like that, but they never see the, bo- the graphic side of it. And in fact, many of them don't want to see it. Now, I'm pretty sure there are some people that have seen this. They might still don't care, and by that time, I don't know what can you can do for it. I don't know how we can help any of you. So, I'm about to give you some nice, interesting little pictures. And no, they're not pretty. They're very graphic. What do you think about that? What about those? That looks so sweet, don't it? That is very sickening. Look at that. Look at the one on the left. You, when people talk about freedom of choice, is that what you're talking about? Is that your freedom of choice? Freedom to rip your child's head off? Freedom to hold a... Look at the guy holding the headless corpse. How about that? That looks so nice, don't it? That looks... That looks that's, is that what your freedom of choice and women's rights is talking about? Well, some of you probably still think that's all right because it is your it is your body, remember, and it's just a blob. That don't look like a blob to me. That looks like a cell. That looks like a cell. I mean, that doesn't look like no blob of cells. That doesn't look like just some fetus that's not alive. I think that I think that was a, a live baby, but it's dead now because of a demon possessed pervert like the parents and the doctor that's holding it. How about that one? How about those? Some that were used, some that were killed with the salt solution. <clears throat> that one there was torn apart. <coughs> Notice the cross next to it. Yeah, and God we trust, right? Man, we all love God. We're a Christian nation. Yeah, sure we are. Look at that one. Look at the head in the bucket. Look at that one with the... Uh, that has been torn apart. I'm assuming they're all probably not alive either. You know, they were just, when they were torn apart, they didn't feel none of it. You know, they're not alive. And then we'll take the bucket of of, of the heads and just throw them in a trash somewhere or feed them to a dog. Does this remind you of the Jews in Auschwitz? Does this remind you of what the Nazis did? They did similar stuff to this, to the Jews. Remember the piles of bodies and the teeth that they pulled out and the fingernails and remember the the crematoriums how about that child how about those does that look like hey does that let me ask y'all something does that look like something does that look like just a nice little medical procedure that's nothing wrong with what does that look like that looks like cold-blooded murder sick perverted murder to me we wouldn't even treat a dog that way I mean, if, if somebody had done this to a dog there'd be a big uproar but when it's just a human, though, nobody really cares. It's no big deal, you know. It's just a human. Humans don't matter, but a dog does. This is the same thing the Nazis did to the Jews and to the Russians and Slavs and everything else. And people, and there was an outcry about it, and rightly so, they need to be. Why ain't there an outcry about this? Where's the outcry over this? Why does people look at that and not care? Why are we so silent about this? Quit worrying about protecting some idiot's rights. 
The, the, what about these babies' rights? Do they have any rights, or they just don't matter no more? Some of you may have heard of this one, little Malachi. This is what's left of him. Tore apart by a butcher, by a murderer, by a demon as pervert. Satan's got control of this nation. I'm telling you, Satan got control of a lot of people in this nation. Only a demon possessed pervert would do this to a child. Let me tell you something. If, man, if I ever, if I, don't, I ain't married, but I'm gonna tell you, if I had a wife and she actually suggested to do this, I'd slap her in the face. If she even suggested, oh, well, let's have an abortion. You think that'd be a good idea? I slap her right in the mouth. No. We're gonna take care of this baby no matter what. We're not killing the child, and I'm not gonna adopt. I wouldn't even put up for adoption. I'd keep it. It's my child. I'm not gonna give it up. I'm not gonna throw it in the trash somewhere. I'm not gonna try to flush it down the toilet. I'm not going to try to drown it myself. I'm not going to let some butcher do it. I'm going to take care of the child. Here's more. How about that one? Do these? Do any of these look like blobs to you, by the way? Again, look at what, look what's been done to these children. I just, look, what, look what's been done to these kids. And yet, we think this is all right. We think there's nothing wrong with this whatsoever. I want you to look at all these. I want That's why I'm holding these for here for a while. I want you all to look at them. I don't want you to sit there and just ignore them. I want you to look at these. Look at them. Look at them. You're, this, is what you're, this is what our country's doing. This is what these, a lot of the people in this nation think is all right. This is what a lot of these people are, this is what a lot of the people are guilty of this, of this act of murder. The Nazis did it to the Jews and the Russians and the Slavs and the minorities. And the undesirables, the Russians did it to their own people. The Chinese did it to their own people. We're doing it to our own unborn babies. We're becoming just like all the enemies that we fought over the years. We're becoming just like them. They did a lot of that because they turned against God and they hated God. And they forsook God and followed the devil. And we're doing the same thing. We don't see it that way, though. Oh, that's nice and sweet, isn't it, too? Look at that. And look at that, look at the one in the bucket. He's just his head. They'll, there's another bucket behind him. What do you think they're going to do with that? Just try to toss it to a dog or something or just throw it in a meat grinder. Look at that baby. Does that look like another blob to you? I bet he wasn't even alive when they killed him. You know, he was probably just a, just a brain dead freak that didn't even know he was alive. Didn't have a soul either, right? Wrong. Both these, who I don't know who they were, who, who, what I don't know what would become of these kids. Some of them may have become drug addicts and died horrible deaths. Some may have even become, one of them may even later on become a president. You don't know. You never will now. They're dead. But of course you don't really care. Nobody cares. I'm hoping that this video will show some of these people and let them see this and realize how wicked this really is. Come on, look. Look at some more. I got more. Look at that. Are those alive or dead? Are those... Were those alive when they were butchered and when they were boarded, or were they dead? Or were they just never alive? Look at the faces of some of these kids. Look at that one that's being held there. He's got a real sad look on his face. Looks like they just tore him apart. Looks like he's almost just nothing, looks like he's got bones. Look at how big they were. They, a lot of these kids look like, a lot of them don't look like they were aborted when they were a couple of weeks. These are several, looks like some of them are several months. Reminds you of what the Nazis did. Ours is a whole lot more worse. Ours is a larger scale than even the Nazis did. The Nazis in their Holocaust never didn't kill 50 million Jews. There weren't even that many Jews in the entire continent of Europe. We've killed a whole lot more uh, at the Holocaust. The Holocaust killed about 11 million in total. We've killed 50 million. Hitler would be really proud of us, wouldn't he? We're just we're continuing what he did. By the way, some of you don't know this, but Hitler was also was a eugenicist and a and he was also a nice little abortionist type too. He believed in Planned Parenthood. He believed in all that birth control and all that kind of stuff. He believed in all this. That's what abortion is. It's a type of eugenicist. It's a type of eugenics. Getting rid, of the, uh, getting rid of the undesirables, abortion on demand because we don't want no kids because it's a threat to our utopia type stuff. Margaret Singer, the founder of Planned Parenthood, she was a big staunch supporter of Adolf Hitler. She said the best thing 
she had a quote. <clears throat> the most humane thing that a family could do to their baby is to kill it. That was her quote. You, and she was a big friend of Hitler. She's the one who founded Planned Parenthood. Oh, what a great hero she is. This is what she advocated right here. She loved this. She saw these pictures, she'd clap. And there's a lot of other people that see this and like it. When I look at this, I don't like it. it makes me sick. I hate, I don't even like to look at these pictures long. I know I'm, I, I'm holding them now because I'm trying to make a point. I'm hoping that somebody can look at these. I'm hoping some kids will look at these. I'm hoping some girls will look at these. And see this and say, this is what abortion is. This is what it really is like. This is what it does to these children. These two here, look at their, this. remember the ones I told you that they use a solution, a salt solution. And it also is a, acts as a corrosive. That's what happened to these kids. See the red on their skin? It burned them. I guarantee these kids were not just sitting around and didn't feel it. They had, a, they had pain. They felt it. They felt it as this stuff killed them. And look at them in garbage cans. They'll just throw them away in the trash somewhere. You know, they're nothing. They don't, these, these babies mean nothing to these sick doctors. People, people worship these doctors like they, they like they're gods, but this is what they're doing. They're not gods, they're devils. Here's, so here's some of the little ones. Now, this is the ones people want to talk about and say, well, they ain't alive. Yeah, they are. How they got blood, for starters. They got blood. They got, they got uh, organs already. It's already developing. They're not dead. And I'm, I, all because they're little don't mean they ain't alive. These are these are alive too. The, the, at conception, the soul is created. There's the soul at conception. They're alive. <coughs> Some more. How about those? More abortions. Abortion after abortion. Oh, it's just. But there's nothing wrong with it. Remember. Remember the government said so. Roe versus Wade said so. And, and by the way, the, the, the idiot's government can't decide and can't figure out when, when life begins. Oh, I know. It's that's convenient, isn't it? They don't know when life begins. We murdered these. Well, look like a good look, America. All these pictures. You know who murdered them? We did. Y'all, every one of us, we murdered them. The mothers and fathers, the doctors. The hidden preachers, the preachers that don't stand against nothing, the so-called Christians of this nation did it. Everybody in this nation done it. This has been going on for so long. This has been going on since 1973. Ain't nobody stopped it. Nobody cares. And, 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 and it ain't the Democrats and Republicans either. The Republicans ain't going to stop it. There's been Republicans in office before. There's been Republican congressmen, Republican presidents, Republican uh, Supreme Court justices, and ain't none of them stopped this. They don't care. They act like they do, but they don't. They're not going to try to stop it because it'll hurt their chances of getting reelected, and it'll hurt their reputation. It'll make everybody. They'll make enemies out of them. It'll make people that not make people enemies. They don't want to do that. They're more worried about their self. They love the praise of men more than the praise of God. There you go. How about that? How about that one? Some more? Yeah, I'll hold these here a while. Just keep looking. I ain't done yet. Still got some more. I know you say, well, just seen a few of them is enough. Well, no, I want to keep showing them to you. I want you to get. I want this point across. That's what abortion looks like. It's sickening to think that this is even happening in America. You wouldn't think something like this would happen. You think we had enough conviction, enough morals to say this is wrong, and this is sickening, and this is perverted, and we can't do this. Just man, this is just sickening. This is what we allow to happen. We become just as wicked as the heathens. This is and this is what you want to want. And you wonder why our nation is such a mess. You want to why you want to why God's judgments all of this nation and why I believe that I believe the judgment is coming. The the big judgment where God's going to destroy this nation. You wonder why the judgment's on us now. This is one of the big reasons right here, because we're like I said, hand we're shedding innocent blood. 
Innocent blood's being shed by our own hands, and we're silent. We don't care. We just we don't want to talk about it no more. Look at that one. Look at the special. Look at the one on the uh, on the left. I, I, there's some words I can. I'll read them. Wichita, Kansas, 1983. Six pound baby, near full term. Salt poisoned. <clears throat> Salt poisoned. Baby born alive. Wants to be incinerated with dogs and cats. One doctor suggested his collagen was removed while alive. Look at the face. It says it indicates a horrible, horrific death. Look at the baby's face. I guarantee that baby felt his death. Just by looking at his body, it looks like he might have been experimented on. And then there's, look, there's a wristband, a hospital band on the wrist. It's almost like this baby was born alive and before they killed him, they did a little experimenting on him. They had to get what they wanted out of him. Something might be benefit to some devil somewhere. Look at that. Look at the other baby. This is Satan's work right here, and he's working it right through all of his young, young his youngins, the children of disobedience. This is Satan's involved in this, and it's, we're too stupid to see it. <clears throat> Can you say willful ignorance? There's some people that know this is wrong, but they yet instead of saying anything about it, they just want to play around. They want to just play around and just say, ignore it, you know. Well, you know, it's no big deal, you know. Let's just ignore it. We'll go away. No, it won't. It won't go away. And you'll go away till you say something about it, till you stop it. More pictures. Some of the little ones are the ones that are just torn apart by suction and everything. They just rip them apart to nothing. <clears throat> the ones that are just ripped apart or either just chopped up and pulled out or they sucked out with a vacuum. They just tore up into just several pieces. I'm going to tell you right now, I could never do that to a child. You couldn't get me to do something like that. You could pay me enough to do that. You couldn't pay me enough. You couldn't get me drunk if I don't drink but you could not get me drunk enough to do it there's nothing you could do to make me do it. you couldn't tell you could threaten me with death to make me do that I tell you right now you could not threaten me and say if you don't kill this child like that I'll kill you I say you just go ahead and kill me then I'm not going to butcher a child I would never do something like this some pervert devil like the doctors will do it and their idiot parents will take them there to be done, but I ain't doing it. You do it all you want, but I ain't doing it. These, I want these images to be burned into your minds, all of you, especially some girls. I like to hope. I hope some girls see this and and remember these images and have them burn in their mind for the rest of their life and say, I don't want to do that to a child. If I have a child, I do not want to take him, take that child to some butcher somewhere and let them murder him. I don't want to do it. The last picture I want to... Here's the last picture. Look at this one. Look at that picture. That's not abortion, but that is a... That's a very... That's something very interesting. First, I'll read this. Do these pictures here shock you? Did they gross you out? I bet they did. But I'll guarantee right now, you're probably not mad at the demon doctors that killed these... These just few of the 50 million plus babies since 1973, but you're angry at me for simply trying to expose it. You're like a lot of people that the Bible describes as those who justify the wicked and rebuke the righteous. You call wickedness good and righteousness bad. God says both of these type of people are an abomination. Proverbs 17, 15. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Anyone who performs an abortion is directly or indirectly involved or thinks it's all right in all cases, some cases or rare cases, is an abomination in God's eyes. Why can't you see that abortion is murder? You've seen the verses, you've seen the Bible, you've seen what I've written down myself, and you've seen these pictures, and yet you still think it's all right. Don't you see, based off all this, that abortion is murder, and that children are blessing, and they need to be trained in the nurture and admonition of the Lord? If you can read this book and see this mass murder pictures and still go on believing the way you do, then I can't help you, and God may not even be able to help you, because God may have unturned you over to reprobate mind. Your only hope, as it is far as it is for the abortion doctor and the ones that help with abortion and the ones that take their children and the ones that think it's all right and everybody else in the world that's born in sins 
and that's everybody, is to repent of your sins and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. One other thing, this picture here is not an abortion, but it is a picture of a man. Some of you may have seen this, but this picture, that's a, that is a picture of a man who's having to perform a emergency operation inside a, a woman's womb because of a something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but the child was like having some kind of complications, and he and this man, this doctor, had some kind of surgery he was performing that he would actually go into the wound and perform the surgery. He wasn't. This is not abortion. He wasn't going to kill this baby. He was going in there to perform something to help it. And this is a picture of the baby sticking his little hand out and kind of grabbing this boy, this man's finger. It's almost like he's thanking him for it. He's grabbing him. I'm going to tell you something. That's something right there that's... Uh, now, there's a lot of people who want to try to discredit this video and say, Ah, oh, it didn't happen, you know. That's stupid. That didn't happen. That's just a bunch of made-up junk. But I believe it happened. That baby actually stuck its hand out and grabbed this man's finger. Almost in a way, almost a thinking, always thanking him for helping him. That baby, that, that was not some blob, it just, it's just moving around and happened to get him. It happened to just, hey, you know, hey, oh, hey, I grabbed something, oh, a finger. This shows right there that, that the baby's alive. Right there, that baby wasn't just sitting there, not moving and just a blob, it was alive. That's a very powerful picture. They said, I believe they said the doctor, when this happened, almost fell to tears seeing that. It touched him so much, and when he shown the picture to the mother, shown this to the mother, she broke down crying. This is a good picture. These are bad pictures. Not because this is this should not be happening. We should see pictures like this, where a man's doing what he can to save the baby, not kill the baby. We see all these pictures of man, people killing the baby instead of somebody like this trying to save the baby. This man wasn't trying to murder the baby. He was trying to help the baby. He was going in there performing a surgery to try to fix something, problem, to try to make sure the baby lived. We got all these devils running around here trying to make sure the baby dies. But of course, again, do you care? Do you see this and say this is sickening and messed up? And it sickens me enough to where I want to, and I've, and I and I see the and you, and I see your Bible verses, and I see what you've said, and I see these pictures, and I know without a doubt this is wicked and devilish, and it's ungodly, and it's abomination, and God's destroying this nation because of it, and I'm gonna get out and say something about it. I ain't perform, I ain't gonna perform abortion, and I want to try to make sure that as many people as possible that I can tell that that they don't do it either. Are you gonna do something? Or are you just gonna get mad at me and get mad at me and say, y'all, get your this? You shouldn't be showing these pictures on the internet, and you shouldn't be. It's causing problems and oh, it's nothing wrong with it and I can choose what I do what I want to and you don't control me and all this kind of junk. Is that what you're going to do? Or are you going to do something? Or are you going to realize how wicked this is? The choice is yours. Now again, I want to ask some of y'all something. Are y'all saved? Are you, if you died today, where would you be? Heaven or hell? You saw all these pictures, you saw everything. <clears throat> Are you, have you ever repented of your sins? Have you ever called upon the name of the Lord and repented? The Bible says in Luke 16, 23, the rich man, and in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torment, and seeing Lazarus afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. That was the rich man. He died and he was in hell and in torments in the flames. If you die without God, you die without Christ, you die without repenting, you will go to hellfire. Romans 3.10, as it written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Your, your righteousness, your works, your church membership, you being good, just being good will not save you. Romans 5.8, but God commendeth his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10.13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ephesians 2.8 and 9, for by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. It's by grace, through faith. That's how you get saved. It's not by works. You get saved through repentance and remission of sins, as it says here, Acts 17.30. At the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Luke 13.3, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall likewise perish. 1 Timothy 2.4, who will have all men to be saved, and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 2 Peter 3 9, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And then, if you do not repent and you continue going on your ways 
and you doubt out God, and you never repent, your final your final uh, resting place, your final destination will be will, will be what's written in Revelation twenty fifteen. And whosoever shall was not who whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire, where you'll be for eternity. You want to repent, get saved, or you want to die and go to hell, and then later on the lake of fire. You have the verses I just gave you that tell you that. <clears throat> Repentance leads you to heaven. Doing nothing and just going your own way will lead you to hell. Repent of your sins and get saved. It's repentance and remission of sins through faith in, in faith of, in our Lord Jesus Christ through His grace. That's how you get saved. If you don't do if you don't do that, you'll die and go to hell. But God does give you a choice. If you want to do that, if you want to go your own way, do what you want to. That's it's. He's going to let you, but you ain't going to blame him later and say, oh, why didn't you save me? Why didn't you warn me? God will say, yeah, I warned you, and I told you. And I gave you the word, and I gave you witnesses, and you didn't heed to them. And again, I just went ahead, and I gave you a choice. You have free will. You do what you want to on that one. But you're not going to blame God if you don't repent. So I ask you to repent of your sins today. Call on his name and repent of your sins before it's too late.